Hello, this is Goku4071, here to talk about a little bit of a, of a TV series and um, that has ended, actually two of them, and then talk about its current offshoot, um, which what I'm talking about is Stargate. This is not a review. There will be spoilers. I will be talking about the current TV show. There will be major spoilers. I will probably be talking about the end of both Stargate SG-1 and Stargate Atlantis. And I will definitely be talking about the current season of Stargate Universe. Um, and I will be definitely talking about what I hope to see in the video game Stargate Worlds. So if you do not want to be spoiled, do not watch this video. I will put, have, I will put on the header uh, Stargate Spoilers. Um, big spoilers. These not small spoilers. This will be huge things. Um, just warning you so you understand that there will be uh, spoilers and a lot of them. Okay, let's start talking about Stargate. Okay, let's begin by talking a little bit about Stargate so we can get up to speed. Stargate was a movie in 1994 where the United States government gets a hold of a device that was found in Egypt in the uh, middle 20s, um, 1920s, um, that was a teleportation device that could teleport you f from another world w with a stable wormhole instantaneously. And um, the movie is about the god Ra, and they end up stopping him by the end of the movie. And when they stop him, um, they bury the gate on true or on not true lock. Um, I'm not sure what the world is called. I haven't seen it in. Um, probably a year, um, but they stop, but they, uh, they stop, uh, Raw, and, um, the TV show actually picks up pretty much right after the movie. The TV show picks up about a year after the end of the movie, where Daniel Jackson is on this alien planet, um, and now Colonel L. Jackson is now retired. He's, he's, he was retired in the beginning of the movie, but now he's actually retired. Um, and the gate reactivates, and, um, Jaffa come out. This is when you first meet Jaffa. Jaffa are basically, uh, basically, let's talk about the alien races now. Okay, in the first TV show, there, or in the first couple of seasons of the TV show, there are three major races. Okay, there are the Asgard, the Ghoul, and the Jaffa. The Asgard are greys, aliens, the traditional grey little aliens, um, the Area 51 aliens, um, which are actually, which are actually good aliens that, um, that have, that have made people believe that they are the, that they are the gods, um, like Thor and Odin. And, um, they're very kind, they help out, and they protect, and, and they protect certain planets from, um, the ghouls. The second one are Jaffa. Jaffa are, in many ways, um, hibernation devices. They basically, um, they're basically what they are, are the ghoul put their young into them, um, so that they can become older. Now, and they are also soldiers. They also, uh, perform soldier duties. Um, and they don't know that the uh, they don't know that the Gould are not gods. They think they're gods because they're not really gods. None of these races are actually gods. They just have high technology, and when you have high technology, you can easily convince anybody that you're a god. If we were to go to um, one of these third world places that didn't know, we could probably convince that we are gods by what we can do. And then there are the Gould. The ghouls were actually featured in the movie, but the, uh, but they looked different. They were more of um, a thinner type alien, um, tall, then, um, but in this, they're actually snakes, they look very much like snakes, um, and, um, what they do is, they burrow inside the back of your skull, and then they can take control over you, and you have no will, but also there is, um, Tok'ra, and Tok'ra are also ghoul, but they're ghoul that have decided to be good and kind. And they are considered kind of a different race, but they're not actually, um, because any ghoul can hypothetically become, um, a Tok'ra, but to become a Tok'ra, you have to give up the ways, and, um, they have genetic memory, means that 
everything that their ancestors knew they know so it makes it very hard for them to become good um so those are the races of sg1 and so um the movie or the tv show sg1 introduces samantha carter um, who was originally going to be on the team that was going to go, but she, for some reason, couldn't. And also, the Jaffa Tilk, which was, um, first prime of, um, first prime of Apophis, which that basically means that he's the highest ranking, um, he's the highest ranking military officer in Apophis's, um, army. And, um, basically, uh, Apophis is a system lord, which a system lord is a ghoul who has a very large group. Uh, is a very powerful ghoul, and they have their own ships, they have big armies, um, they have a lot of followers. And, basically, the system lords are, they're only, they only work together when it's, when it's necessary. And, um, the first four seasons are about them fighting, um these races um and uh, are fighting the system lords um apophis fighting the system lord apophis that's basically the first four seasons um and then later on you get to need a little bit more of the other ones um about midway um while while searching a planet, they actually find a device. Um, because, like, in the first season, you you find out there were four, race, uh, four races that were all part of a coalition. The ghouls are not part of this. Um, the, uh, the four races um, are the Asgard, um, the furries, furring, furrings, whatever, um, you actually don't meet them in the TV show. They're in one episode, but it's more of like a joke episode, so I don't know if that's actually who they are. Um, the... The Nox, which... The Nox, a really quick thing about the Nox are, you wouldn't know that they're highly te technologically advanced, um, but they are. Because in the episode, uh, they live in the nature, and they're, they're very nature-based race. And then the Ancients, the fourth one. And, um, now I'm going to talk about the Ancients. This won't be quick, because the Ancients are a huge part. The Ancients were, uh, were a technological advanced race that lived millions of years ago. Um, up to 10,000 years ago. They died off 10,000 years ago. But they lived millions of years ago. And they, basically, they were the most highly advanced race of them all. They were so advanced that they were studying things that were so over our head that we couldn't even imagine. They were, they had power sources that we couldn't imagine, and and throughout the show, um, they find littered pieces of their technology. Um, they actually find a time machine. Um, near the uh near the end of the eighth season. Um, actually, I think it's in the eighth season. I don't know. Um, and they find so many different things. Um, and um, they find a chair that uh, gives them technology that can destroy the uh, Gould like nothing. And they find all these different pieces of technology, and it's really cool. I like them. Um, so, around season, I want to say five or six, um, probably six, they meet uh, Anubis, who is a half-ascended ghoul, um, which ascended, um, the ancients ascended, um, and now know all. Um, and was the really big opponent until the end, until the end of the eighth season, where they end up defeating him. And then, um, the ninth, ninth and tenth season, you meet the Ori. The Ori are... Ascended beings, very much like the ancients, but they're evil ancients. They have a different viewpoint, and they uh, they tell everyone they're gods. The ancients don't interfere. The Ori do the complete opposite. Um, they do it to to a level where the ancients won't interfere because if you go too far, the ancients will interfere because they don't think. Yeah, they want fair is fair. Um, this is the end of my uh, Stargate um, video. Um, 
Um, stay tuned for next part. If you have a video response or a comment, please send it. Um, this is a two-part video, so stay tuned for the next part. See you, YouTube.